the um, the grand unified theories obviously attract a lot of interest because they have this promise of, of explaining so much more. Um, so yeah, so the free energy um, principle kind of approach to the brain uh, focuses on the fact that um, it, it might be beneficial for an organism to uh, minimize surprise, essentially. Um, so it would be good if um, the brain worked in such a way that the inputs that come into an animal are not surprising to it. It's able to kind of predict its own environment um, and it can it can reduce a uh, surprise. And so that um, can have implications at different levels of analysis of the brain and different brain areas. Um, so uh, but one thing that comes up under um, that kind of uh, framework is thinking about things like predictive coding, where the brain creates predictions of its own sensory inputs and then kind of sends those predictions to the sensory processing system where it compares that to the incoming sensory information and they kind of cancel each other out if they're accurate uh, predictions. And if it's an inaccurate prediction, then an error signal is sent. And that means there is surprise. And, you know, the brain needs to change itself in some way that makes it so that it won't be surprised again. Um, so those kinds of ideas are related to, to free energy. Um, the thousand brains uh, theory comes from um, Jeff Hawkins um, and uh, his company, and um, that is, uh, I, I put it as a grand unified theory of the brain. It's mostly focused on the neocortex, so kind of this the outer shell of the brain.